This stuff is like crack for your hair. Ever since I cut my hair, I have been on a mission to restore the decades of damage and abuse that my hair has underwent. And this changed my hair completely from like a regular bounce back to coming back with a vengeance. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new, please click on that subscribe button and follow me on all of my social medias. And if you're not so new, I apologize for taking so long for coming back to this channel. I've really just been on my main channel and on my Instagram and all that good stuff. So, kind of forgot about this channel, but I'm back. So, since it's been a long time, I wanted to do a little bit of an experiment since I have been trying to restore my hair back to where it was before I colored and cut it and did all of that nonsense to it. Technically this is my 18 month update but I kind of wanted to restart over and kind of scratch that timeline and start new so this is my one month since I tried this out for a whole month I want to continue to do that to see a real difference. So I have been following Curly Proverbs since the beginning of why I started to transition over to the Ayurvedic natural hair system and I have learned a lot and I have seen a huge huge difference in my hair from what I thought normal and natural and well not natural but like just the healthy state of my hair was it it's completely different. <laughs> it really wasn't that healthy. It was for the seat that it was in, but it had underwent years and years and years of heat damage from blow dryers, from straighteners, from bleaching, from coloring, from all of that stuff, and it destroyed my curls. You kind of can see the difference because, like, the black is the untouched, uncensored <laughs> version of my hair, and the brown is from when I colored it and you can see like the curls are a bit more loose in the lighter side and it's really tight up top so you can't really see the difference of the length but it's there. So she suggested a special brand of MSM which is completely natural. It basically helps your joints and promotes like the collagen and keratin and stuff growing in your hair. So I wanted to do a little experiment and I did and I am losing my voice right now. I'm sorry I'm coming off of a cold. If you're wondering what MSM is, it is a natural sulfate that is found in green plants and humans and animals. And nowadays everything is being processed and all all the pesticides being used in the food that you're eating it's just killing all of the good nutrients and stuff that we actually need it's kind of causing us to dive for those natural things unnaturally in supplements but you also have to be really really careful when you're taking supplements as well because it's not natural it is chemically processed so it's not like you're making up for what you, you're losing, like you are, but it's still processed. Your best bet is going completely natural, finding organic things. Farmers markets will, you know, do you wonders instead of just getting the mass produced, steroid invested fruits and vegetables that I don't know what they are. So basically I'm here to tell you what my experiences were, the pros and the cons of taking MSM and pretty much everything is done for me. So the brand she recommended was the um, gold standard organic sulfur and it is 99.9% .9 MSM so there's nothing in it. The best form to get is in its crystallized form, not in powder, not in pills. That's when they add the additives and preservatives and all of that nasty little fillers that you don't really want to take. I ordered it through Amazon and it came pretty fast and it was just this package and it had directions that came with it. It's basically just this piece of paper and it gives you the instructions and what it is and all that stuff. Pretty much all the directions state is that it should always be taken 30 minutes before eating anything in the morning, which includes your medications, vitamins, and your food. Other doses should be taken on an empty stomach or two hours after eating. So you either take a half an hour before you do anything in the morning or two hours after you eat. 
Sulfur binds with everything, so if you do take it and you eat at the same time, it'll be less effective than take it on an empty stomach. They also suggest if you weigh up to 200 pounds to start with one teaspoon, so pretty much four grams of the MSM twice a day, and then you increase one more teaspoon for 100 pounds. You can take this alone, but I would, I, w I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. It's just gross and, and it's crystals. You don't want to eat crystals. So just dissolve the crystals in one ounce of hot water, preferably filtered water or bottled water. I mean, it could be one to two ounces of water. The less water, the more potent it tastes. So what I typically do is I add one ounce of hot water after I boil it and then I add another ounce of regular cool water so it'll be cooled down enough to where I can drink it. Then after you take the MSM just make sure you're drinking lots and lots of water so 8 to 10 ounces directly after and depending on your body weight and your age and all of that stuff you can never have too much unless you drink it all at once and then you drown yourself but that's not likely to happen so that's basically it it's like you know so I bet the main thing that you want to know are the pros and the cons to taking MSM. The pros to taking this is it is a really good detox and it helps to regulate your system. Of course it helps with hair growth, with nail growth, your eyelashes grow, your skin and your complexion gets much better since you're detoxing all of the nasty things out of your body and also drinking water from taking MSM you'll have a clearer complexion. You'll have more energy, it has anti-inflammatory effects, and it just it keeps your body going. And it helps you with your joint pain, your knees, your muscle pain, like if you're exercising and your muscles are damaged or just undergoing a lot of stress, it'll help you recover much faster. But some of the cons to taking this. Some of the side effects that you might experience, you might have headaches, you might have diarrhea, abdominal pain, you might be fatigued, you might, you know, start to swell a little bit, you might be really nauseous. I mean, side effects are with anything that you're taking, so kind of give or take. One of the things you will experience immediately is a really bad taste, and that's because it's just it tastes like medicine. So if you were to take a pill and crush it up and just it with water, that's what it tastes like. So the gross, nasty medicine taste, that's what it is. But if you put more water in the solution, you'll get less of the nasty taste. But I would kind of try and stick to the one to two ounces of water since that's what they suggest and then drink more water afterwards. My tip for you is to follow it by licking a mint or chocolate or candy or something to get that taste off of your tongue if you are one of those non-medicine takers like myself. You will also notice a change in your skin. Though it does help your skin complexion, when you're detoxing and it's getting rid of all of that gross stuff in your body, it's going to come through your face. So you're going to get more acne. And I have been misbehaving all summer and Though I cut out sugar for the past couple of months, I kind of threw all of that out the window and I haven't really been drinking like half a gallon of water per day because I can't really go to the bathroom that much when I'm at work and so I kind of just kept putting bad things into my body so it's been pushing it back out so my skin's breaking out a lot but I know once I kind of get back into the flow of things and continue to put the good things into my body and stay away from the bad, it's not going to put you back out, and my skin will become much clearer. So it's all to you. Eat good and drink a lot of water. Yes, hair growth is a beautiful plus, and that's kind of what we wanted in the first place. That's kind of why you're here, but you can't control where the hair grows. So yes, your hair on your head will grow a lot. The hair on your eyelashes will grow a lot, but the hair everywhere else will also grow a lot. So without those razors and waxing and tweezers and just accept your feet, it, it, it's just going to grow. <laughs> and if your hair grows a lot in the first place like mine does, it's just, 
more annoying. So expect that. Finally, it's just I would consider this a con. I'm really impatient and when I see and feel things working, I get really excited and I want to keep taking it, taking it, taking it. So don't fall into the temptation of taking more than what you need. Like don't overdo it because you know you feel like okay I'll take more so my hair will go more. You still don't know what the long term effects were overdosing or you know taking too much of anything so I wouldn't risk it just have patience let your body do what it needs to do and just make sure you're regulating yourself and following the directions and sticking to the directions and not going overboard and just take your time that's basically it so far I mean always do your own research before you get into anything and refer to your medical doctor whoever's taking care of you and you know, make your own decisions. Just to tell you my experience, again, I'll kind of give you a schedule of what I do every day now. I wake up, I heat up my water for my tea, and then I'll fill one ounce of hot water, pour the MSM in it, let it dilute, and then I pour another ounce of cool water and then take it. And then I would eat a little piece of chocolate, which I should probably find something else since I want to eliminate sugar, but it's not gonna happen. And then I would wait my 30 minutes as I get ready for work and I will eat my breakfast either on my way to work or when I get to work and then that's basically it. and I just make sure I drink a lot of water. My experience for my first day on taking this I had gotten a really bad headache and I just my stomach started cramp cramping within like the first 15 minutes of taking it and it just felt really really uncomfortable and really gassy but it wasn't like it was just weird and I knew I wasn't really hydrated well enough and so I drank a lot of water and I kind of let that subside and it got much better. The next day I only experienced abdominal pain, like not like pain but more like the discomfort, just kind of like crampy. But it was much less than the first day. And then every day after that I experienced nothing. So I just made sure I drank a lot of water and just did what I normally do and I didn't really experience anything. By like the 10th day I did notice a difference in my nails. They became much stronger and they started growing longer and longer. You can't really see the difference like with my nail growth, especially with this hand because I work with my hands a lot so all of the nails kept breaking on this hand no matter how strong they got. The only surviving nail I have is my thumbnail which you kind of can see it, but I don't feel like focusing and refocusing. I just don't have the patience for nail care and, you know, if I get like a crack or if it tears just a little bit to file it down and all that stuff, I just rip it off. So, I mean, it wasn't necessarily my goal goal. With my eyelashes, I didn't notice a difference in length. My eyes were always bald in the first place, so the only thing that I noticed was that it did become a tad bit thicker than what it was. Like really, really, really small difference, but also I've only taken this for 30 days, so I don't know if taking this for longer will make much of a difference, but I, I don't think that it'll be that big of a difference. Like, I'll have a really hairy face if, you know, my eyelashes went from this to like full on eyelash extension, so. I think this is as good as it's gonna get. And then when I did a halfway checkpoint of my hair length and how much it's grown, I did notice on day 15 that um, it was a bit longer than when I started. So basically, that's about it. I only gotten an occasional headache maybe twice within this month because I didn't have enough water that day and all I did was like once I felt like a little bit of a headache come on I just drank a lot of water and then it went away instantly. You can't really tell by looking at my hair for how long it's actually grown. I think in the beginning it stopped here above my pocket and I'll get a piece in the back because my hair is like layered so it's all the different length and it stops about here so about halfway through the pocket so about an inch a little bit more than an inch that might not seem a lot to some but this really isn't the first time that I've 
chopped my hair off and you know done anything wild and crazy to it I've cut my hair like 10 years ago and it's taken 12 months like basically a year for it to go back to the same exact spot but now since I'm older my body's producing things a lot less than it was before my hair was growing like maybe three-fourths of an inch or less than that it's much slower than what it was before so this kind of boosted it back to it, the way it used to be so if your hair grows and you're young and you know you're taking it but you don't really need to it'll make a difference in your hair's life that's basically my experiment my experience my thoughts I will continue to take this because it's helping my knees a lot <laughs> and that's one of the big reasons why I've been thinking this because I have really, really bad knees since I've danced for a really long time and I walk a lot and I just, I put a lot of strain on them and they were really bad a couple months ago so I haven't noticed anything and I work and I run and I play and I do sports and all of that stuff and they've been really good so it helps me a lot in that way so I like the perks. Again, do your research talk to your healthcare professionals and think before you act and don't follow any Joe Schmo that you hear so don't even you know take my advice or my experience just do what you got to do for you if that makes sense with that being said have a wonderful night morning evening or afternoon whenever you're watching and I will see you lovelies next time